Hello everyone, happy Monday and welcome. I am Rachel Indermill, your U.S. Vice President of Sales, and I am here with a very special guest, our exclusive Black Status presenter, Jenny Peterson. So welcome. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. And we're so excited to have you. So I have to tell you, we've received several requests, and trust me, we listen to all your requests that you provide us. And this one specifically, since I started in November, we've heard time and time again. So Jenny, do you mind sharing with us what we're going to be talking about today? Yes, this is actually one of my favorite things to train on. Today we're going to be talking about how to color match, specifically using Touch Mineral Liquid Foundation. So did you hear that? So if you haven't joined, tag somebody in this because they're going to need to watch this. Um, we are talking about our Moodstruck Touch Liquid Foundation today. So we are extremely excited about that. So um, actually it's not Moodstruck. It's Mineral Touch. <laughs> it's okay. <I> like, <laughs> mineral Touch Liquid Foundation today. Um, so Jenny's actually going to walk us through a few things. Um, how to determine skin tone, how to help us color match, and also different things that she's done throughout. How long have you been with Unique? For almost four years. For almost four years. Mm -hmm. And she's black status. So clearly what she's doing is working. So we're just, we're really excited to learn from you today. Thanks. I'm yes. super excited. Yep. We're and, I'm oh, sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> I want to share with you like how I color match my customers online and kind of walk you through the process and give you some verbiage that you can use and some tools that you can use to help you increase your sales as well. So, all right. Well, okay. let's get started. So, let's kind of talk about like color matching. What is the very first thing that a presenter should do for color matching? Okay. So, you're online, right? And yep. you're posting every day as you should be and um, you have a customer comment on something and maybe you said drop an emoji if you want details on this bundle. I like to do before and after pictures okay. or if they ask a question, where can I buy it? How do I know what shade I am? How, do, how much is it? What I do is I always say I will message you, okay? So take it into Messenger, take it off your wall because that's where the magic happens, that's where the sales happens. And then when I message them, this is what it looks like. I say, um, Rachel, thanks so much for commenting on my post. I saw you had some questions. Would you like my color recommendation? Question mark. End with a question mark is going to encourage them to respond. We want people to respond to our messages. Right. Okay. And um, they're all going to say yes. They always do. Yeah. And it doesn't seem, it's not salesy. Would you like my color recommendation? That's how I get into it. Okay, so I ask them, do you want to get into what I ask them? Yes, please. Okay. Yes. So I ask them, I say, please send me, I say, perfect, please send me a recent picture of your face taken outside in natural light. Okay, there's a couple of keys here. You want it to be in natural light. You want them to not have foundation on. Okay. Okay. Um, and if they send me a picture and they're like in a dark room or it's clearly really artificial light, it's going to change the colors that you're seeing and it's going to... Um, it's going to mess up what you're going to be able to color match them as. And I will ask them, I'll say, okay, listen, this is what I need you to do. I really want to give you an accurate color recommendation. I need you to walk to the nearest window, face the window, take a selfie and snap it and send it to me. Well, and I think that's key to you, too, is you're facing the light. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. To get that natural lighting and to help with, you know, the, the basically the, how they look. Yes, exactly. And what we're looking for is we're looking for the skin's undertones. Okay. So, going into undertones, yes. there's three different types of undertones. There's warm yellow undertones, there's cool pink undertones, and then there's neutral, which is just a mixture of yellow and pink. Okay. So, everybody falls into that category. And there's a couple of ways um, that you can see it, and there's also a couple of questions that you can ask your customers so you can know what their undertones are. Okay, so okay. Let's, let's, let's learn a little bit more about undertones. So explain that to me a little bit. Okay, perfect. So, um, for example, I will okay. ask my customers, um, and it helps if you have a white sheet of paper. I'll ask them, I'll say, when you look at the inside of your wrist, do your veins appear blue or green? And if they appear green, then they have warm yellow undertones. If they appear blue or purple, they have cool pink undertones. And if they can't tell, they're probably neutral. Okay. okay, that's a really good tip. So to put the white underneath the arm. Yes. Okay. Because that neutralizes your palette and it helps those colors pop out. All right. Okay, in your veins. The next thing I ask them, I like to ask, do you tan or do you burn easy? 
if they tan really easy. And we all have that friend that goes out for the summer and she gets this beautiful gold, golden bronze tan. If she tans easy, she has warm yellow undertones. If she burns easy, the sun hates her, <laughs> like me, you have cool pink undertones. And if you can't tell, um, if she says, oh, I tan and I burn, she's probably neutral. Oh, that okay. makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And then another question I like to ask is, do you prefer to wear gold or silver jewelry? If you prefer gold jewelry, oh. you have warm yellow undertones. If you prefer silver, cool pink, and if you can rock both, you're probably neutral. All right, that's a good tip as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I think I wear both, but yeah. I think gold looks better on me. Yeah. You know, I get more compliments when I wear gold. <laughs> okay. All right, so that's kind of like the undertone. So now let's talk about, like, how do we determine the skin's complexion? Okay, so once you've determined their undertones, then you need to decide, is my customer light, medium, or dark in um, complexion? Okay. Okay, and um, once you decide that, it's gonna really help you pick a foundation for that customer. Okay. And we have a couple of tools. Yeah, we do have a couple tools. So let's actually walk you through some of our online tools that are on uniqueproducts.com, just so you have a visual. And it was actually funny, Jenny is like, some of these tools she utilizes a ton and other ones, she's like, you know what, this is an underutilized tool that I am now going to be using for herself and her team. So first, go to uniqueproducts.com, and then you're actually going to click on Shop. Once you're on Shop, you're actually going to go to Face which makes sense because you put the Touch Mineral Liquid Foundation on your face. Now we're going to click on the Touch Mineral Liquid Foundation. Okay, so let's first talk about, um, where is it at? Which one are you looking for? I'm looking for to find your shade, get the perfect match here. So now we're going to click on find your shade, get the perfect match here. All right, so Jenny, will you talk to us about this a little bit? Yes, so I use this tool all the time. And I love it because you get to see real women wearing every single foundation shade. There's a thing that you can scroll over their face where you can see what they look like without makeup on, what they look like with the foundation on. I actually like to use this tool and um, especially when I'm matching people online, I'll make a collage using like a free app, app like Pick Collage. I'll put my customer's face next to the, the face of one of these lovely ladies and I'll label it and I'll send it to them so they can actually see, oh, I do look like I have that same, that same foundation shade. Yeah, and you do this a lot. And I actually see other presenters sharing your, before, your personal before mm -hmm. and afters of yourself. Yeah, so I like that as well. And this is a really good tool and resource. So if you haven't used it, please do so. And now I actually want to show you something else here. So let's go back here where it says visit the story page when you click on visit the story page and scroll down this chart in itself is perfect so Jenny walk us through this chart chart which I think is a complete underutilized tool that we have yeah first of all I didn't realize this existed <laughs> and this is amazing because it tells you every single foundation shade that we have and is it warm, is it cool, or is it neutral? So you should be using this chart to help you with your color matching. Yeah, I love it. And it's kind of broken down. And what I love here is like you can see Georgette falls into both categories, neutral and cool. So it's kind of like you think you're cool, but you're not quite sure and you're neutral. They actually can fall into both. And I love that we kind of outlined that here specifically. So that's a great tool as well. One last thing that I want to show you is if you click on the Wear It tab, this is another resource that we have available. And basically, the whole point behind this is if you look at a woman and you say, you know what, my skin tone actually looks like this. I have about you know, the same um, color hair, same skin tone. And when you scroll down, you can actually find the liquid foundation that this specific person uses. Um, and in this instance, it's Touch Mineral uh, Liquid Foundation in Taffeta. So again, these are three different resources that we have available for you. You can pick and choose which one you feel is the best for you, if not utilize all of them. But I think another thing Jenny and I were talking about, it's practice. Exactly. It's really practicing um, using these tools, practicing color matching, 
Uh, and so let's kind of talk about color matching and, and the best place to do that. Okay. I love that you said that it's practice because color matching is a skill. And like all skills, it can be learned. So the more that you do it, the more practice that you get, the better you're going to get at it, the more comfortable yes. you're going to get. Okay, so so you have determined your customer's undertones. You've mm -hmm. determined is she light, medium, or dark. Now you're ready to give her a color recommendation. So here's how I do it online. Okay. I, I will message her back and I'll say, okay, thanks for sending this to me. Here's what I recommend for you. And I tell her everything that she needs. Even if she's just asking about foundation, yeah. I tell her everything that she needs. I'll say, okay, I recommend Glorious Primer. I recommend Touch Liquid Foundation in this shade. I'll tell her the shade. This is the concealer you want, and then I recommend a setting product. Okay? And I'll even tell her, I'll say, listen, most people, this is a trick for upselling. I love using the words most people. Most people are actually... Um, upgrading and getting our touch trio bundle because it's such a great deal yeah so um, even if you think oh they just want foundation I tell them everything they need because primer is so important well and I'll foundation. be honest I think before I started with unique I didn't know the true importance of primer or I had never invested in it yeah. um, to realize that it does help with the longevity of your product and more so than anything I mean it doesn't matter what you're doing you want your makeup to last all day yes everybody <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I love that. Yes, and it really prepares the face for your foundation. Yeah. It helps um, minimize fine lines, wrinkles, pores. So because your foundation, instead of sitting in your skin, it's sitting on top of the primer, and it helps pull the true color of the foundation. Um, so I love primer. Yep. And then I will actually close them. So here's the thing, ladies. You've got to close. You've got to close. So I'll tell her everything that she needs. I'll say, can I help you with anything else? If she says no, I'm say, okay, perfect. Um, would you like me to send you over a shopping link or do you want me to place an order for you? I assume the sale. I assume she wants yeah. it. I assume she wants the kudos. It's an amazing kudos. It's an amazing deal. And um, that's how I do it. Yeah. So thank you. But I want to back up one second. So when we're talking about like matching, yes. um, and if we're going to do it on somebody, say it's live or if they have like the sachet, the foundation sachet for you new presenters at home that came in your new presenter kit, where's the best place to color match? Oh good, I'm yeah. glad you brought up. Because a lot of people do it wrong. A lot of people think back of the hand or on the wrist. You want to color match their neck and their chest with their face. Yeah. Because I don't know if you've ever seen it before in pictures of somebody whose face looks different than their chest. So that's where you want, you want to color match their face to match the neck. Okay. And the chest. And the chest. And that yes. makes complete sense because it's like a little bit sometimes underneath your chin, your neck, like the top part of your neck is usually a little bit lighter because it's almost like a little visor, right? And then once you get down lower on your neck and your chest, that gets the actual sun. And to your point, you definitely want them to match. So that is very important. And I think a misconception has always been to do it on the top of your hand. Yeah. So that's a really good tip. So thank you for that. Yeah. So we've really talked about, you know, complexion undertones. I mean, I feel that you've given us a lot of amazing resources. The others are, um, I want to talk about is the tools. So tools also are very important on what tools you use as far as the application and it can also change the coverage that you that you have. So with this specific Kudo, it comes with a foundation brush and the powder puff brush, either or if you choose that route. Yes. And do you want to talk to us about those two brushes yes. and what you like about each one? Well, first of all, these two are in the kudos. They yeah. can choose one of these if they wish. And um, you can use this. I love this one for the Behold setting powder, but you can also use this for your liquid foundation. Yeah. Put a couple drops on. This one was made for the liquid foundation, and the correct tools make a difference. It really makes a difference with the application, how the product looks on the skin. So, and these are great. Yeah. These brushes are amazing. And I'll tell you, like for every day, I'll use the foundation brush. Now, if it's maybe an evening event or I want to have a little bit more full coverage, I actually do use the powder puff brush and actually kind of blot it in versus rubbing and blending so it gives me a, a better coverage. 
So there are different ways to use the product to help with the application of it and to, you know, for the end result. Which actually leads us to the um, Love Your Shade Guarantee. So let's talk about our um, Love Your Shade Guarantee a little bit. Okay, the Love Your Shade Guarantee is amazing. It's only going on for May. Yep. And it really takes the pressure off as presenters of what if I recommend the wrong shade or customers worry what if I, what if I get the wrong shade. And Love Your Shade guarantees they can message support yep. and say, I have the wrong shade, I want a different one, and they actually don't have to send the foundation back as long as it was purchased in May. Yep. So it's, it's one per order or one per yes. person. Um, and again, because we feel so confident and we really want our customers to, to use our products and to love what they're wearing because we know the performance is there. So in May only, we have this available to them. So this is a great month to support the kudos and to really get out there and, um, you know, sell the sp specific kudos. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention, Jenny, is what if, um, I guess I asked you this before, is how many returns have you actually had to do over your time? Very little. Yeah. Very little. I mean, I've, I've had an occasional return because I'm not perfect, but, right. but knowing how to color match knowing how to see skin's undertones, what questions to ask, really helps el eliminate, not 100%, but the amount of returns yeah. that I have to do. That's perfect. So I think you're saying is, is practice, utilize all the yes. tools that we have available, and it's okay if you have to do a return from you know, time to time, but this is the month to really roll up your sleeves and take all the tools and resources that are available and, and make them work for you. Yes, and the thing is, is um, we learn by practicing, yep. and I love I love the Love Your Shade guarantee. Yes, and then we also have the Love It guarantee. The Love It guarantee as well. So when we're, when it's not in May anymore, we can still we don't have to worry if it's not the right shade. It's not a big deal. Um, return it or exchange it. Yep, absolutely. So those are the main um, things that we wanted to discuss today. Is Alora over in our social corner? Is there any I questions am. we have or anything that we <laughs> missed? Hi, Laura. Hello. So, so there, there have been, been a couple, couple of questions, questions and a lot of comments saying, saying how helpful you two have been. Um, one, one of the, the questions, um, people, people are wondering if they need to take the seasons into account when they're color matching. matching. That's a great question. You know, it's <laughs> funny, <laughs> and we should have talked about that because Jenny and I were talking about it earlier. Like, I'm almost in between colors right now because I just got back from the service trip in Hawaii, so I have, I'm tan. For me, this is tan. And what I was using this winter versus now is actually changing. So do you want to talk to us about that, Jenny? Yes. Well, yeah. it's exactly like you said. We're not the same color all year long. No. I am much lighter in the winter than I am in the summertime. And I, I actually think it's a good idea to sell two kudos to a person so they can get two different colors yeah. and they can mix it. And um, I have... I have I have somebody on my team, Emily, you know who you are, <laughs> who is upselling second kudos to kudos buyers because they want the foundation, then they want the primer, and they want the concealer. And yeah. they want both setting products, or they want a brush to go with it. And so it's such a good deal. That's you can actually sell more than one to one person. That's a good point. I didn't even think of it that way, but because of the mix, you know, who's to say you, you don't want a, a concealer as well? Yes. So, okay, that's such great. Such a good deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then another question it's actually specifically about the concealers okay. um, people want to know if you match them directly to the foundation or if they want um, you know that lighter look underneath their eyes if you go a shade lighter they're wondering um, which one to do go lighter or match to the exact shade excellent question yeah I use concealer two different ways I think mm -hmm. everyone can use a concealer okay. all of our customers so the first way is to conceal so to cover up blemishes, imperfections, dark spots. You want to get the same color as your foundation. You want it to match. The second way would be to highlight, to brighten. Yeah. So if you have dark under eye circles, um, if you want to highlight down the bridge of your nose, I go a couple shades lighter. Yeah, and I think the rule of thumb with the concealers, if you're using it for like highlighting or under your eyes or anything with contour, you can go one to three shades lighter. Um, and again, that's your preference. But yeah, that's a great point yeah. that there are different ways to utilize our concealers as well. I uh, see. I like to use Scarlet. Do you use one to highlight? Or? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I actually am not sure which, which is shade the it lightest is off the one. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. So I use Scarlet, and I do like the little triangle underneath my eyes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I like to put it on the back of my hand to like warm it up with my skin. It just spreads a lot easier yeah. that way. I agree. I agree. 
So that's great. Any other questions, Alora? Um, no. I think that that was that was the majority of the questions we had. And honestly, everyone is just really excited about those charts because they didn't know they were there. I know. It's a good thing we did this live. <laughs> I know. She pulled that up. I was like, how long has that been there? <laughs> we need so to surprise. Know these so it was a hidden gem, clearly. <laughs> So please make sure your teams know about these charts and all of the mm -hmm. tools. And Jenny, we appreciate you giving us your feedback and your tips and tricks because you're so successful, um, you know, selling the, you know, Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation. Um, and, the, you know, we want to kind of give a little bit of a call to action. And, and how do you do it? Like, there's no perfect way. We have different tools, resources. You know, we talked about undertones and complexion. And please share different ideas and suggestions that have been successful for you or reiterate what we've talked about, that what has worked for you, for any of the new presenters that are watching this video so that they know where to start. So is there anything else, Jenny? There is. I thought of one more yes, thing. Yes, please. That I completely forgot about, the presenter perk. Oh, okay. Can we talk about that? Go ahead. Okay. The presenter perk, when you sell 10 kudos this month, you can earn this beautiful, luxurious, yeah. purple robe. And I'm so glad that you brought that up. I've been actually trying to get my hands on the robe as well. It is over, at, uh, Sam has one, but I should have had it so we could have yes. put it on. That robe yes. is amazing. Okay, I want to see how many presenters are going to earn that. I want you to drop a purple heart emoji in the comments below, like claim it girl. I want you to say you're gonna earn it and then earn it, you got this. Well, and honestly, I think we've set you up for success this month. It's a phenomenal kudos, all the tools and resources, Jenny's amazing knowledge. I think that we can have a ton of presenters earning the amazing uh, purple robe. Yes. All right, so thank you guys so much. Any additional questions, let us know and have a fabulous Monday. Bye y'all. Bye, thank you.